welcome to the official To Kill a Mockingbird Character Awards. We start tonight with our award for most important character. The entire book is seen through her eyes. She's well-intentioned, moral, inquisitive, and adores her dad. She is Scout Finch. Hey. Congratulations, Scout. Uh, so, the whole book is one big learning curve for you, isn't it? Certainly is. I like to think I learn a lot. And as Atticus, my dad, says, see things from other people's point of view. Barbie for Scout. Well done, Scout. Our next award is for Best Supporting Character. He protects Scout, gets his arm broken at the end when they're attacked, and shares her view of racial equality. And of course, when old Mrs. Dubois is rude about Atticus, he chops the heads off her flowers. The award goes to Jem Finch. So, uh, Jem, you come out very well at the end of the book, indeed, uh, despite chopping the heads off old Mrs. Dubois's flowers, don't you? Do you regret that? Uh, yeah, well, in hindsight, I suppose it was quite me. Ah, no, you should have chopped her head off. She was a racist old boot. Well done, Jem. <laughs> now, time to move on to our next category, wisest character in the book. If there was an Olympic medal for looking at things from someone else's point of view, he'd get the gold. It's Jem and Scout's dad, Atticus Finch. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Now, uh, there's your award. You have a very funny name, Atticus. Uh, not really. My family have always been called Finch. All oh, right. Now, you took on the Tom Robinson case, even though you knew it was doomed, and you managed to uh, just completely destroy the Ewells in court, all without raising your voice. Were you happy about that? I'll be happy when everyone lives in peace and harmony. OK. And uh, in case you're wondering, the gun there is in recognition of the fact that you're a crack shot, despite not liking to brag about it. Hmm. OK. Atticus Finch, everyone. Well done. How does he do that? Make you feel... This small. Anyway, on to the next award, which is for the most imaginative friend. This must go to Charles Baker Harris, known to us as Dill. He started the whole obsession with trying to meet Boo Radley in the first place. Come on up here, Dill. <laughs> Congratulations. There's your award. Now, uh, Dill, anything you want to say? Yes, ma'am. My name's Ch Charles Baker Harris, and my dad, he's president of the railroad, and he's got a beard. And uh, he used to keep me locked in the basement in chains, and he used to feed me peas. But uh, one day I escaped by camel, mm. and uh, one day I'm going to marry Miss Jane Louise Finch. Right. OK, Dale, how much of that is actually true? Most of it. Yeah. Now, uh, thank you very much, Dale. Now, as you know, Atticus Finch brought up his children after their mother died, but he couldn't have done it without the recipient of this next award for best mother figure in the book. She's uncomplaining, looks after the kids and stands absolutely no nonsense. It's Calpurnia. <laughs> Calpurnia, congratulations. Here's your award. Stand up straight. Shoulders back. I'm sorry, I, uh... Speak when you're spoken to. Thank you very much, Calpurnia. One scary lady. OK, then, the next award is for most unfortunate character in the book. Tom Robinson. Congrats, Tom. Big fella. Congratulations, here's your award now. Tom, let's face it, you have a bit of a shocker in uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. You work very hard, help out Mayella Ewell by you know, befriending her, then get falsely accused of her rape. Actually, get convicted. Well, at least I got my health. Yeah, I'm uh, afraid you're actually dead, Tom, so... Oh. Bit embarrassing. Thank you very much. Yeah, you were shot. Well done, Tom. Now, moving on to the award for most mysterious character. Like Tom, he's an outsider, but unlike Tom, he's white. He's been holed up in his house for as long as people can remember, and the kids are terrified of him, even though, ultimately, he saves them from being killed. How ironic. It's Boo Radley. Come up here, Boo. Congratulations. Here's the award. Well done. Now, Boo, or to give you your full name, Arthur Radley, what was it like being thought of as some kind of monster? OK. So, Boo, you tried your hardest to show that you meant Gem and Scout no harm by putting little presents in the tree for them, didn't you? Anything you'd like to say about that at all? No, great. OK, thank you very much, Boo Radley. OK, then, we'll move on to the final award, which is for 
the family least deserving our sympathy. Firstly, Mayella Ewell. Should we feel sorry for her? Well, let's remember she's the eldest of eight children and she's tried her hardest to bring them up, correct? Also, she's lonely and desperate for love and affection. Then again, she did lie under oath about Tom Robinson and effectively got him killed. And as for your father, Bob... Spending government handouts on alcohol and forcing your kids to scavenge on a rubbish heap, you are a disgrace. There's three generations of disgrace in our family and I am proud to be continuing that tradition. Okay, good work there, Bob. You've thoroughly earned that slow, agonizing death of yours. Who did what now? There you go. Thank you very much, Bob and Mayella. Well, that concludes our award ceremony tonight. And remember, wherever you are, take care of yourselves and each other.